Okay, one of the stories he told uh, was about a merchant. They call him a set in India. The set, he was looking at his bungalow that he was going to retire. And he was instructing the people how to paint the colors on the columns and the, around the windows. And at that time, a holy man went by behind him and laughed. And he kept going. And he kind of said, what was that about? So he, after he gives instructions to how to do the bungalow, he goes into town to his shop. He's a shopkeeper. He sits down, he starts doing business with people, and he hears some noise coming up the street, and it turns out to be a, a, a sheep, a, no, a, a goat. A goat, and the owner of the goat was right behind him. And the sheep was trying to, he was anxious. And when he saw the set, this particular merchant, he went over to the merchant. And the merchant said, this is interesting. Why this goat should come over here to me? It's as if he's seeking refuge in me. Maybe I can save this goat's life. So he uh, offered to buy the goat. He says, you take, where are you going to do with this goat? He says, I'm taking it to be slaughtered. And uh, I intend to get a minimum of 60 rupees. In those days, that was a lot of money. And uh, he had it fixed in his mind. That's what he was going to get, 60 rupees. And the set, being a set, being a merchant, is not going to pay the asking price. So he gets him down like to 58 rupees. This guy is adamant. The merchant is a merchant. All he knows how to do is bargain and not, never pay the asking price. So he says, oh. So we're talking about a two rupee difference, right? So the, set, so, so the holy man oversaw this and he laughed and went on his way. Now the set, at the end of the day, he went home. And now his wife and a young child were there. The child was standing next to the wife. And he was sitting down. The man, the merchant, was sitting down to have his meal. And you know, in India, they eat right on the floor. They put the tali right on the floor, and, and that's dinner. And he's eating it, and this baby pees on his food. And the mother says... He got a horrified, and the mother says, well, why bother? He's your own son, and he's innocent anyway. It what, what, can't hurt you, what, what he's done. You know, so you might as well go ahead and finish your meal. You know? And just then, that same holy man walked by, looked in the window, and saw what happened, and he went on his way, and he was laughing as he was departing. The guy says, that's it, I've got to find out. He gets up, he goes and pursues this. Holy man, he says to the holy man, I, I need to talk to you. I, I, for three, three different incidents, in three different times, you happened to be there and you laughed. Now explain, tell me what that was all about. He says, ah, oh, you know, holy men, they laugh any time at anything, you know. No, nobody can follow a, a holy man and understand anything. No, 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 no. There were specific moments. And they had this... Finally, the holy man said, okay, you come down to the river and I'll explain it to you. He says, the first incident was you, you were painting, you were instructing the painters how to color your house, your, your, your retirement home. And then as you walked away, I realized, you know, you're going to die in seven days. And here you are investing in your, your retirement and you're going to die in seven days. And I found that really amusing, and I, I couldn't help myself, so I laughed. Now this merchant's getting nervous. And he says, well, then you also laughed when the goat came up to me. He says, oh yes, in the previous life, this goat died owing 60 rupees to somebody, but he died before he could pay the debt. 
Now, that happened to be your father. And he said, if you had come up with two more rupees and given 60 rupees, you could have freed your father. But you didn't. And I just found that amusing, so I laughed. He's seeing behind the scenes. The, the owner, the butcher, nobody else knows. They're just playing out the drama. Then he goes to the house and he sees the baby is pissing on the, the father's food. And he said, what was that about? You know, he said in the previous incarnation, he was your, your wife's lover. But you had him killed. So he reincarnated as your own baby. And now he's giving you trouble. And I just thought that was amusing. And so I laughed. And uh, we laugh, you know. He says, and he says, tell me, is it true? Am I going to die in seven days? Oh, yes, definitely you'll die in seven days. And that's how Prakashananda left the story. You know, it's kind of like still got some tension in it. And it's not, it doesn't end uh, in a very nice, peaceful, happy way. This guy is facing death, you know. Uh, whether he dies in seven days or not, all these issues are put in his face and he's made more conscious. <laughs>